how do you actually lift weights to build muscle you know it surprises me that people can train for years and years and years and their whole life they can lift weights and still not do it correctly okay so look guys it, your training sorry i mean your nutrition can be out of 10 out of 10 your sleep lifestyle everything can be perfect you can have the best training program in the world the most perfect training program with the sets the reps tempo intervals everything but if you do not execute the exercise properly you will make zero gains okay you'll make zero gains it's absolutely critical you understand how to perform an exercise properly to build muscle that's what we're talking about in this video now the first point that i want you to understand is the weight is just a tool the weight is just a tool and it's irrelevant it's not like the more weight you lift, the more muscle you build. In fact, if you've ever seen anyone in the gym with a great, great physique, they won't be, you know, usually they're not lifting any more crazy weight. Like it might be relative because they're just bigger than you, but you know, it's not like they're lifting crazy weights and that's why they look like they, they look. You know what I mean? Like if we're talking about power lifting, that's a whole other topic for a whole other video. We're talking about hypertrophy, okay? So in regards to hypertrophy, the most important point, well, point number one, is that the weight is just a tool and to take your ego out of it. I see guys in the gym, right? They'll look at me and they'll look at my physique and then they'll come over, right? And they'll do the same exercise that I'm doing and they'll just do more weight than me. <laughs> like it cares, like it's a competition, bro. I don't care how much weight you lift. I'm not in the gym chasing numbers, Okay, I don't care about that. I'm, all the weight is, is just a tool to apply resistance to the muscle. Okay, that's all it is. It's just a tool. For example, bicep curl, okay? I can do this all day long. Actually, my shoulder's going to get more tired before my bicep gets tired, right? I can do this all day long, all right? That's there's no, because there's no resistance. Okay, but if I have some weight there, well, now it gets a little bit harder okay so point number one is the weight is just a tool point number two is what is the target muscle that you're trying to uh work like people get this so wrong i just see this all the time particularly with bench press okay <laughs> bench press i see this all the time people are just like moving the weight up and down like it's not as simple as moving the weight up and down like all from a to b you're not moving weight you're performing an exercise and you're going to make sure the muscle in question is the, the correct muscle in question is under tension and actually doing the work because there's a million ways you can move away from one position to another it doesn't necessarily mean that you're using the right muscles or you're doing it in the right way you know you can swing a swing a bicep curl up but that doesn't necessarily mean that you're actually working the bicep okay so point number two is what is the target muscle and have we isolated that muscle correctly okay now if you don't know what the target muscle is when you're doing your exercise you need to you need to know this shit. like you absolutely have to know this so if you have a, an exercise in your training program and you're not sure what to do, well, you're going to have your phone in you with the gym because everyone's on the phones these days in the gym. So you go on YouTube and you search how to perform X exercise. Okay. And you'll, there'll, there'll be lots of videos there. Just choose the one that you like. Okay. Watch the video, perform the exercise at a, a relative weight and don't go crazy with the weights because you're still learning the exercise right so do a lower weight than than you think you can do you need to do okay watch the video try the exercise then you're going to need a break so watch a video again don't take too long but just watch another video or carry on watching the same video try again and this is how you teach yourself how to execute the exercises properly because if you're not executing the exercise properly you make zero gains or you just make gains in the wrong place okay so you have to so so critical to make sure that you're executing the exercise properly with 
the correct muscles isolated. You need to know the target muscle groups for every single exercise that you do. And eventually you will, and after doing the exercise, you should feel it in that place. You should feel like if I do a set of bicep curls, I can feel my biceps, you know, I can feel them like they've done work. Okay. And if you don't feel that afterwards, then you might not be performing the exercise correctly. Okay. Also with regards to this is mind muscle connection because with every muscle you have concentric and eccentric you know i'm contracting and then i uh, i am lowering the tension i'll talk about that in the in the next point in point number three but um you want to feel like can you feel and think about the muscle fibers like just really feel oh can i feel the muscle fibers contracting in the bicep and then can I feel it lowering back down? Like I can really feel this. And as a beginner, when you've got no muscle, this is going to be much harder. But over time, you're going to develop this mind muscle connection. It's going to get easier and easier and easier. Okay. That is point number two. Point number three is there's four parts to every exercise. Every exercise has four parts. Okay. I'm going to use the bench press to um, show you. What I mean, because everyone loves the bench press, it's like my favorite exercise, okay? So, there's four parts to every exercise. So, part number one is the starting position, which is like here, okay? Part number two is the eccentric portion, okay? A lot of people, they just, <laughs> they, they just drop the weight down, okay? They just drop the weight down, press it up, drop it down, press it up, drop it down. There's so much gains to be had. In fact, more gains. More gains are probably made in the eccentric portion of the movement. So you need to lower it down and make sure there's tension on your mus on the target muscle at all times. Okay. So point number two is going from the starting position to the end position. Part number three of the exercise is the end position. Okay. We need to know where the end position is. Okay. Which is going to be you know with the bar touching your chest, right? Then part number four is going from the end position back to the start position and this is the bit that people just focus on they just think it's just this bit but there's actually four parts okay so understand the four parts and at every single point there should be tension on the target muscles if you if you go up to if there's not at any point tension on the target muscles you might be doing the exercise wrong go watch some more videos okay that's point number three Point number four is intensity. Intensity is just how much weight you should lift. How hard should it be? Okay. Now, you can debate this all day long. I'm just going to give you uh, just a, a, a dummy proof framework. Okay. And think about it like this. If you can do more than 15 reps, okay, then next set, you need to put the weight heavier. Okay. If you can do if you only managed less than eight next set put the weight lighter okay it's very simple we're aiming for between 8 to 15 reps and you want to train i don't know like as close to failure as possible don't be a pussy guys i know a lot of people they just go in there they're not really trying not even breaking a sweat like you got to train close to failure okay if, if the last few sets the reps are not hard to do you just you're wasting your time you may as well just stay at home and sit on the sofa and eat croissants and pizza and stuff like that okay so you need to make sure that you have the correct intensity and you're actually trying and you're not being a pussy okay that's point number four point number five is rest rest this is it, this is just depends on each muscle group to be honest like if, it, if i'm doing a set of biceps it's not very taxing on the body i might rest 60 seconds maybe less okay if I'm doing a set of squats, while that's extremely taxing on the body, 60 seconds rest is not going to be enough time. I might take two minutes. I might take two and a half minutes, okay? Um, might take three if it's been a really hard set, okay? And I've gone to absolute failure. I'm going to take longer, okay? So it's not like there's a magic number that I can give you to with regards to your rest periods. It's just going to depend on each exercise. But you really want to get to the point where First of all, you're not out of breath, okay? Because you need to get your breath back. And um, you're just going to have to gauge it. All right, guys? 
Point number five is, oh no, five was rest. Point number six, this is the last one. Uh, the last point that I want to make is with regards to tempo, okay? A lot of people just, like I said on point number three about the four parts to an exercise, they just don't, they just ignore that completely. But then you also don't think about tempo. It's not about, like, tempo is regards to how quickly you perform the exercise, okay? A lot of people just completely ignore this, but there's tempo. And for every single exercise that you do, there's... Uh, a good tempo to follow and what I like to go for excuse me is a tempo of for the four parts okay you've got it's, it's going to vary but I'm just going to give you like generally what would work for pretty much every single exercise okay is four seconds on the way down one second pause two seconds up one second uh, here at the starting position and then four seconds down, two seconds, uh, one second pause, two seconds up, one second pause, four seconds down, etc., etc., etc. This would pretty much work for every single exercise. You're looking at four seconds on the eccentric portion, on the lengthening portion, and two seconds on the concentric portion. All right. And that's it, guys. That is six points. That is how you actually lift weights to build muscle. Because look, like I said at the beginning, everything can be perfect. Your training, you, uh, your, your training program, uh, your sets, your reps, everything, the, the, the right muscle groups, um, your nutrition can be a 10 out of 10, your sleep, your lifestyle, everything can be perfect. But if you do not execute the exercise properly, You'll make zero gains and you will not build any muscle at all. Guys, if you need some help with this and you want to get in the best shape of your life, not just physically, but also mentally, emotionally, financially, I do coaching. Okay, the links are in the description down below. You can also just send me a DM on social media. We can chat about your goals, see for a fit. But guys, this is crucial. Do not underestimate how important it is to be executing the exercise properly because if you don't execute the exercise properly you'll make zero gains if you do exercise exercise if you do execute the exercise properly you'll get jacked you'll make lots of gains and you'll just look sick done